Hey everybody, it is Mr. George and this video looks at uh, two topics within marketing. First one is cons uh, motives behind consumers and the second one is branding. So we're going to look at consumer motives and we're going to look at the concept of branding and they are connected, they are related. So first off, when we look about at buying motives, we have two broad categories we have emotional motives that are connected with feelings, how you actually feel. And on, on the right-hand side, we have rational motives. Those are logical motives. So anytime you spend money and you buy something, whether it's a product or a service, there's a reason why. Okay, It could be logical. It could be you're hungry. It could be you're thirsty. But then you have to ask yourself, why do you buy the product that you buy when you have a lot of choices? Um, and sometimes you might buy something because of the feeling you get, either the anticipation of buying something uh, or whether it's the feeling you get after you actually buy it. So an example that I use uh, pretty frequently um, in a high school classroom is why would someone purchase an Apple iPhone? So you could have several different reasons as to why someone would want to purchase an Apple iPhone. It could be uh, emotional, like how you actually feel. You may actually feel some some social um, some social capital, some peer acceptance now that you have an iPhone. Um, you might also feel uh, based on the label recognition um, and that you're pretty proud of it. I mean, some people actually keep the boxes. Uh, imagine you buy something and the box is so nice that you actually keep the box and use it for something else. Uh, never mind the actual phone that comes in the actual Apple box. Um, you know, on the right-hand side, you might buy it because you might think that an iPhone saves you time. Uh, whether it does or not, I mean, maybe it doesn't save you time. Maybe you feel like, well, I don't need to buy a computer. I'll just use an iPhone. So maybe you, you know, you might look at it as I'm saving money or it might make my life easier because now, you know, you have GPS, so you could tell what the weather is, or you can look up the scores whenever you want, uh, or you can do your homework, you're much more efficient. So again, when we talk about products, uh, for, for lots of products, it isn't just one reason why someone buys it. Uh, it tends to be, you know, lots of different reasons. Um, and the power of our feelings, our emotions, is pretty strong as to when we make our choices, a lot of it tends to be either how it makes us feel, whether it's short-term feeling or whether it's it's a long-term feeling. So when we now talk about the concept of, of branding, uh, branding is is really this uh, this concept of of burning an image into the consumer's mind. Okay. So when we talk about a brand, a brand represents the holistic sum, everything, of all information about a product or a group of products. So, you know, it could be a slogan, it could be the logo, it could be the associations, it could be the celebrities or the athletes that endorse the product. Um, all these things get tied into the brand and we as consumers look at all of this and we attribute meaning and value and worth behind these products and that's where those those motives come in and that when when we, we look at certain products like say for example if i come back to this um, for example uh, many many young adults many many teenagers uh, look at say the the patagonia brand maybe it makes them feel environmental because patagonia you know uh, the environmental impact is important to that. So if you're that if, if those values are also important to you, then you may feel like, okay, I'm gonna spend my money and I'm gonna support a company that has the same values as I do. Or maybe you just think it's like a really cool outdoor brand, whether you're an outdoor person or or not. Okay. So as we kind of move through Uh, hold on here.
Okay. Oops, sorry about that. A little technical glitch there. So I already talked about what branding is. These are these different different um, uh, pieces that factor into this like holistic sum. So whether it's a spokesperson, uh, mascot, it could be an inanimate object. And we'll look at some examples. It could be an actual person. There's advantages, disadvantages of having people be spokespeople versus having you know, some type of like character say like Tony the Tiger. You know, Tony the Tiger doesn't get old. Tony the Tiger doesn't age. Um, Tony the Tiger is going to look the same in, in five or ten years. Um, whereas if you choose spokespeople, they tend to, over time, be replaced by more, more contemporary individuals. Um, logos, simple, easy, tends to be, tends to be effective. Uh, Nike is a great example of of a person named Caroline Davidson created the actual Nike swoosh um, for price to $35. So it's not complicated. Yet over time, that, that Nike swoosh has, has created meaning for individuals. Okay. So logos are important. Uh, it's not just an actual image, but it's an image that that allows us to contribute i'm sorry attribute value and worth and meaning behind it for example think of logos that you see on cars whether it's cadillac mercedes-benz you know bmw it's just a small symbol uh, but those symbols become very very powerful images to us that becomes very recognizable whereas we don't even need to actually mention the name of a company, we just know what it is through the actual image. And Nike is a great example where they can just put it on, on a billboard and individuals look at that and they think of athletes, athleticism, uh, the, the, the high point, the zenith of, of sports. So these are great examples of, of logos that you see that we don't need to even have uh, the names of the companies near them and they get kind of used in in ways over time it, they tend to be simple uh, simple is good simple is something that need that can be replicated on not just clothing but on plastic on materials on labels simple um, you know federal express changed to fedex um, they saved hundreds of thousands of dollars in printing costs. It became much easier, less expensive, and it became shortened. Uh, so all sorts of, of, of financial benefits to having something simple and easy. We talk about slogans, also known as taglines. These are, are, are fragments of sentences that may change over time as companies look to rebrand their products for different groups of people as they come up with new products or they want to appeal to a different group of people um, they may look at the brand and and decide to have some type of like makeover where they'll change the logo they'll change the slogan um, especially if a company is 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 local it's regional and then it decides it wants to go national or wants to go, you know, international and appeal to you know, individuals in different in different countries. What's nice about a logo is that um, it can be it can be um, attributed to meaning in lots of different countries, uh, regardless of of language. Here's a couple of examples of slogans. All right, so when we talk about uh, mascots, you think of like a mascot, like for a professional sports team or a professional sports franchise, which is also important as far as like branding, because these mascots are you know interacting, um, interacting with the fan base. Um, oh, 
some technical difficulties here. Bear with me for one minute. Just doesn't want to advance to the next to the next slide for me here. All right, so on that note, I think we're going to kind of wrap it up. So I guess when you know, when it comes to branding and and buying motives, it's important to understand like what they are uh, from a from a company standpoint. It's important to understand who you're trying to reach, how are you trying to reach them, and then once you reach them, how can you how can you continually communicate that message to them in ways that, that not just appeal to them, but for so many different companies, they want to be cool, they want to be relevant, they want to be able to connect with their, with their target market. Um, and by branding um, and, and, and being relevant, uh, that's one way where they're able to do that. Thanks for watching.